Hey YouTube friends, SurvivalCraft here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a simple paracord cable tie like this one. Now you're going to need a few things to do this. Number one, you're going to need a piece of paracord roughly a foot long. Now you can make it longer or shorter depending on what you want, but I, I probably wouldn't do it anything shorter than a foot just because it becomes a little bit too small. But you can make large ones if you want. Now I'm choosing red for this just because it's easy to see on camera. But what's nice about this is you can choose different colors so that you can color coordinate things or uh, have certain uh, types of cables marked with certain types of colors. Also, you'll need a lighter. You'll need a one inch piece of shrink tubing. This is a quarter inch to an eighth inch, uh, which means you'll probably need some scissors too. And you're going to need a barrel stopper for cordage. The first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to take your one inch piece of shrink tubing and feed it onto the paracord. Then bring both ends together and heat them with a lighter. What you want to do is you want to get them nice and hot until they're pretty much on fire themselves and then you want to press them together. Once this has cooled down slightly, you can go ahead and push down the excess material once it's still kind of warm. Uh, be careful that you don't burn yourself though, because it's pretty easy to do that. If you're worried about burning yourself, you can press the, the parts down with the metal portion of your lighter. Now there's still some areas here that are a little sharp, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat them really quickly, and then press those down too. This doesn't have to look perfect. All you have to do is have these two ends bound together. Then take your shrink tubing and pull it up over where you've melted the two ends together. Once it's there, take your lighter and shrink that tubing. What you want to do is you want to just kind of heat the shrink tubing, keep the lighter moving so that you don't burn the tubing. Now once the heat shrink tubing is shrunk, but while it's still warm, take your lighter and press on the inside of this shrink wrap tubing and just hold it there until this cools down. Now what this does is it gives a little bit of an arch to your paracord loop and this enables you to better hang this on a tack or uh, on a carabiner, things like that. That just gives a little bit of a, a saddle in which uh, the tack or the carabiner can rest. Finally, opposite from where you have attached the two paracord ends together, go ahead and feed your barrel lock. All you have to do is double the paracord over and feed the barrel lock onto it. And with that last step, you're done. With this, you can bind together cables or cordage and keep them nice and neat. All you have to do is work that barrel down and you have the cables or the cordage locked together. Now since this is all locked together, you can take this end and you can, for instance, hang it on a carabiner or something like that. You can hang it on a keychain, um, or as I do, you can hang all your electronic items on little tacks on the wall above your desk. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, gripes, complaints, please put them in the comment section below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Also, if you would, while you're here, please share and like this video and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.